Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Caiaphas Kane here, my Jedi Knight. And we are here in the Gormak lands of the world of Vos. Where we last left off, we just arrived here in the Gormak lands, arrived at Camp Talanus, and we've been helping both the Republic and the Vos commandos clearing out the northeastern section of of the lands here. Unfortunately, on our way to retrieve the maps within the vault to learn more about where the Dark Heart is located, we've learned about a weapon the Gormak have been constructing, a giant cannon which they are aiming at the Vos city of Voskar. We've been asked to plant explosive charges and four generators which are powering this cannon, hopefully disabling it or destroying it outright. Hmm. That was probably one of those Chris Fangs. I thought it might have been someone going invisible nearby. <laughs> oh, I'm being paranoid. On the way south to deal with the Gormak cannon, we've also heard that the Gormak stole some medical supplies from the Voss and have laid a trap. So, we're going to hopefully yeah, spring the trap, survive, and be able to retrieve the supplies for the Voss commandos. We should consider also aiming to get the map of the Nightmare Lands, but we'll leave that until we've dealt with the major threat of the Gormak Cannon. While we're doing this, players of the Empire are also heading into the Gormak Lands to aid the Voss in disabling the... Gormagan 1, I believe it's called. The Gormak have created or finishing off their first starship capable of going into orbit and blowing up Voska from the sky itself. Just gain a codex entry on the Gormak lands, on Gormakos, the Gormak's kind of major settlement. Let's have a look at it, shall we? The Gormak are normally a tribal people. Their population spread across numerous nomadic clans, numbering a hundred individuals each. However, deep in the Gormak lands lies Gormakos, a massive settlement of tens of thousands of Gormak, who have united their tribes in a sprawling expanse of huts, tents, high-tech defenses, and amazing technological devices at the base of an unnamed mountain. Gormakos literally means the Gormak Kingdom in the Old Voss language and is rumoured to be ruled over by a single powerful leader, and the Gormak who dwell in the makeshift, makeshift city seem to be organised for some greater purpose. Instead of scavenging random cast-off pieces of technology, they seem to be searching for very specific items and components, as if gathering material for a massive unknown project. Two of them, in fact. Let's go spring this trap first of all.
Oh, there's the medical supplies. Taking nose. Okay. Let us continue heading south now to deal with the power generators of the Gorma Cannon, which you can actually see now in the distance. Come on, music, you can settle down now. The battle's over already. to deal with any Gormak around the power generators here. Yeah, here is the Gormak cannon itself. Let's get behind the cannon. Place for the moment. The Gormak hatred of the Voss is difficult to comprehend for outsiders. More than a simple cultural conflict, the Gormak view the Voss as a blight that must be completely wiped from the face of their world. To this end, the Gormak have begun construction of a massive weapon, a cannon aimed directly at the city of Voskar. The logistics of creating a weapon capable of launching devastating attacks on a city perched atop a mountain are difficult to imagine, but the resourcefulness of the Gormak should not be underestimated. Leveraging scavenge technology and using only primitive mining techniques, the deadly project is rapidly approaching completion, and the Gormak's long-awaited day of reckoning is fast approaching. Another power generator there.
Okay. That's two explosive set. Ah, the final power generator is up on the scaffolding. Before we head over to the scaffolding, why don't we go have a look at the uh, Gormagan 1? It's not for us as a Republic play to deal with, but interesting nonetheless. Despite their incredible affinity for technology, the Gormak are still a backward species in many ways. Although they are capable of repairing, modifying, and improving tech created by more advanced cultures, they are mired in a pre-spaceflight culture and confined to their home world. Now, under the guidance of Jokul, a visionary warrior who has risen up to lead his people, the Gormak are approaching the dawn of a new age. Hidden away inside Gormakos, dozens of tribes have united to build a starship capable of interstellar flight. Using pieces and equipment salvaged from the Empire, the Republic, and even the Vos, they have made slow but steady progress, marching towards the future. Should the Gormak successfully complete the vessel, it will forever alter the destiny of their people by making them a force within greater galactic culture. The long-term consequences of such a radical breakthrough are difficult to predict, but the Gormak firmly believe their first starship is the key to their ultimate survival. Yes, and while we are blowing up the Gormak cannon, Imperials are blowing up the shield generators of the Gormagan 1 and implanting charges on the hangar doors. In fact, this is what the shield generators here. someone around. We do have a large security chest here. I think this, there might be someone this way. Or it's trying to load in some uh, graphics. Or it could be a bit of both. the final charge and now we must head to a safe location and detonate the explosives we just planted Hmm. 
some Voss commandos here guarding the detonator. Outsider, Pevthak Fra wishes to speak with you. The charges have detonated. Voskar is safe. The Gormak are vicious. You have strength. For savages, the Gormak have some advanced technology. They have guidance. Come to the Gormakos camp. There is much to discuss. Okay, we've been invited to speak with one of the leaders of the Vos Commandos. Is that the same Vos Commando who was greeting us with Tala Ray in the Pilgrim's Retreat? The name is somewhat familiar. I thought as much when we were back at Camp Talanis as well. Well, we do need to head back that way anyhow to hand over the medical supplies. So you're saying the Gormak have Republic weapons? Not our weapons, our trash. Dead power packs, empty clips, used cores. What they salvage, they turn into blasters, artillery, shields, works of art. Those works of art are killing the Voss, not to mention our own men. Why I recommend keeping this to ourselves and collecting our trash. Hmm. Sharda, I found your stolen medical supplies. There are sick and injured. The healers will be grateful. The Gormak were many. An outsider lives. Surprising. These will go where needed. The boss can heal again. You are welcome here. Oscar is safe. You fought bravely. We saw the cannon. We should have struck first. The Gormak have become bold. Jokul leads them. How much damage can one Gormak do? Jokul is unlike other Gormak. The Gormak were savages. Now they build cannons, ships. Jokul gives the Gormak purpose. They grow stronger. Has anyone tried talking to Jokel? The Gormak are not Voss. They understand only war. All Gormak resources went into that cannon. Gormakos is exposed. We must strike. Raid Sa will lead the commandos. You will defeat the Gormak. Your skills seem adequate. I'm sure you mean that in a positive light. Outsiders rarely impress. Jokul rules from Gormakos, their strongest stand guard. The Gormak have many defenses. The commandos will clear a path. While Jokul lives, the Gormak are unstoppable. He must die. If Jokul leaves me no choice, I'll do what's necessary. Strike first, or you will die. Enter Gormakos. Find Jokul. Go now. Okay. So they believe this is a good opportunity to attack this new Gormak leader, this Jokel. Uh, Jokel is located in 
kind of like an underground structure beneath the Gormak Cannon itself. the cannon again in the distance. And once again into Gormakov. Isn't there a law object around here? Oh, there is, right in front of me. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, we have a law object on the Gorma. We've had a look at the Voss species, why don't we look at the Gormac? <laughs> An aggressive species of humanoids found exclusively on the world of Voss. The Gormac have an amazing ability to comprehend highly advanced technology and adapt it for their specific needs. From bits of scavenge electronics and discarded equipment they can construct tools, machinery, even deadly weapons, and cybernetic implants. Aside from their affinity for technology, the Gormak's most notable feature is their hatred of the Voss species. The, the Gormak view the Voss as abominations that must be purged, and they are quick to extend this animosity to newcomers from the Republic and the Empire. Like the Voss, these newcomers are all outsiders. The Gormak population is estimated to be in the millions spread across the planet, but so far their tribal warlike nature has kept them from uniting against the Voss. Yet over the centuries, the Voss have had, have had to constantly fight against the Gormak to survive, and developed a hatred just as strong as the Gormax.
Ah, we've caught up with Raid Saw and the Commandos here. There, good as new. Outsider, you are a welcome sight. I led several squads here. We split up to cover ground. The Cormac were waiting. We were ambushed. Do you need medical attention? We will survive. Our victory is not certain. Another squad made it farther inside. They reported security fields, weapons, Gormac traps. We lost contact. The Gormac have many defenses. The assault will be difficult if they remain armed. The Gormag do love their technology. They are distracted. They hunt the other commandos. Rainsaw! The Gormag! We're captured! Send help! Commandos will not escape without assistance. They know the price of victory. You must strike now if we are to kill Jokel. Uh, it's true. If they're distracted, it gives us an opportunity to get in and kill their king. They know their duty, we know ours. We'll reach Jokel no matter the cost. We do what is necessary. The control room is nearby. Destroy the machines inside. The defenses will fall. We will continue the assault. Move quickly. Disable the turret controls. Turret controls are somewhere in here. Ah, perfect.
Okay. Give the Voss Commandos an easier time to push through the Gormak lines. Well done, Outsider. The Gormak's defenses are down. I've called for reinforcements. Joko's throne lies ahead. Okay. Let us go confront this Gormak King. From, I keep remembering I have this bloody Blade Blitz ability. You know, I'm not using it a great deal. Should I switch it out for something else? Saber Reflect. Reflects all direct single ranged force and tech attacks for five seconds. You know what? Sure, why not? I'll have to remember to activate it. Um, in fact, I might switch it out for Inure. Since I'm not really using Blade Blitz at all, I might move it over here and try to remember to make use of it when it's available. Same with Guardian Leap. I'm not really using Guardian Leap a great deal either. But, no matter. You would destroy Vaskar. You are the corruption. It's over, Jokel. Stand down and surrender. Tell me exactly what it is you're trying to say. Oh, <laughs> I sent reinforcements. They have met Gormak armies. They cannot reach you. Repeat, they cannot... Gormak told us what would come. It happened as he saw. Only a mystic knows what comes. The Gormak sees. You're some kind of... Gormak mystic. Oh, no, me vis come, come to me, Roy, so come. Then was Droche comes out from track. Then through on she she will macoon came she
both you and the Voss want your visions to stop. The darkness of the Nightmare Land steals the reason of some mystics. It could give Gormak a mystic sight. How many more Gormak have entered? There could be others. Gormak mystics! Impossible. Jokul is not a mystic. We will not listen. How would you explain Jokul's visions? The Gormak lies to save himself. The Commandos called as predicted. Jokul saw the future. This cannot be denied. We are not interpreters. The Gormak's visions must be judged. You would set a Gormak among the Voss? Show all that the mystics share their power with our enemies? No. Jokul would bring chaos to Voska. Finish him, outsider. We have to know more about Jokul's visions, no matter the cost. You are fortunate the mystics have seen your worth. The three will decide our next move. Speak with Laren Kai and Voska. I will inform Pevthok Fra of our victory. Farewell. Interesting. So yeah, the Gormak King himself seemingly went into the Nightmare Lands, and that's where he was corrupted by the Voss's ability to see visions, as he calls it. It seems that is how he's gained the almost ability to know how to unite the Gormak tribes and to build things such as the cannon or the Gormagan 1 starship. I suppose if nothing else, we should probably find ourselves back to Voskar to discuss what is going to happen with Jokul. Of course, our time here in the Gormak lands has not yet come to an end. Let's see what we have about Jokul himself, shall we? You Gormak showed a strength and cunning to become chieftains. To become a king takes extraordinary intelligence, ruthlessness, and skill. Driven by his burning hatred for the Voss, the veteran warrior Jokul has united the Gormak under his rule and devoted himself to destroying every Voss on the planet. He has sought out ways to improve his weapons, driven his warriors through exhaustive training, and ordered his technologists to build dreadful machines of war. His strategies have been surprisingly effective, often catching even the most experienced Voss commandos off guard. Jokul's single-minded aggression towards the Voss has made the Gormak more dangerous than ever. The Voss Commandos are now becoming overstretched as they attempt to defend Voss Car. If Jokul's campaign of violence cannot be stopped, it is conceivable that he may soon break through the Voss Car and burn it to the ground. Hmm, thankfully we were here to stop his campaign then and bring him before the Voss. I guess in addition to his various other characteristics, his ability to rage war, the visions have helped enhance his abilities, make him an even more deadly chieftain. I believe this is the Republic Ambassador's office. You're fine. And we have the Envoy of the Free here. Outsider, you have returned. This matter must be settled in Voskar. Ambassador Janik remains at his post. I've been following the developments in Gormakas. You've done the Republic proud. The Gormak cannon is silent. Voskar is safe. 
We are grateful. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. Ambassador Janik chose well. Raid saw sent word of the assault. His report was disturbing. Jungle's been imprisoned as far from the Voss as possible. Apparently he's here on your orders. Jokul should not be here. He is not Voss. We must know about his visions. He can't answer if he's dead. His words bring discontent. Jokul might have known the commandos wouldn't reach you. He couldn't have known they would contact Raid Saar. The mystics agree. Jokul was having visions. Visions would explain the Gormak's military stride since Jokul took over. Jokul would use his sight to destroy all Voss. The visions must end. The Gormak have an edge. What do we do about it? Jekyll said his visions began after a trip to the Nightmare Lands. Whatever caused them must be down there too. Enter the Nightmare Lands. Follow Jokul's path. Destroy the Source. Any other relevant information about this place? The Nightmare Lands are a place of darkness. Most go mad. The Mystics have a ritual to protect themselves. You'll need to complete it in order to reach the Dark Heart. Just tell me where to go. Talon Day will guide you. Find him at the landing site. The Gormak must be defeated. You will return. I've already done, like, two or three suicide missions while on Voss. You know those cyber beasts? Yeah, that was me. Now you're sending me to a place where most people go mad. Thanks. Thanks a great deal. Enter the Dark Heart. We must know the truth. Ah. So what we'll do is we'll take a small break here. Our time in Gormakos has went on longer than we may have expected, but there was quite a few things to do there. When we come back, we're going to get ourselves back over to Camp Talanis and head south towards Gormakos once again. Disable the shield generators protecting the King's Vault and hopefully locate the maps directing us to the Dark Heart and Lord Fulminus. But that, that's all for next time. We will take a break here. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you feel like you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no, take care. Bye-bye now.